Montreal, Canada to shoot a documentary on the making of the new Voivod record. But more importantly, we're here to pay tribute to Voivod's legendary guitar player, Denis Piggy Damore, who sadly passed away in August of 2005. Hey, Michelle. I want people uh, to remember Piggy uh, as the musical genius he is, but also uh, um, as somebody that, um, that is so humble that he never talked about his genius. Never, never. To him, it was a gift and it came out naturally. He's one of the greatest guitarists from Quebec, Canada, even, even in the world. He's one of the greatest. When you talk about Piggy's guitar sound, it has to be understood that he has a tuning that is like no other player that there's ever been. When you look at any guitar book, tablature, guitar player magazine, or Mel Bay book from all the centuries, okay, the F-17th chord is like this, and this one has to be played like that, and that one has to be played like that, no. The Piggy chord that goes like that is one finger. He puts it on that string and hits the whole thing and goes chow. Right, most guys would have to do that to do it. He outsmarted it. He, he, he was in his last days and he phoned me and he said, you gotta come to the hospital right away. I have, to, I have something to tell you. And uh, so um, I went there and he said, looks like I don't have much time to live. If you uh, get a hold of my um, laptop, there are, there are like um, 23 songs that we've been working on in the past two years with Jason. You know, we knew about 23 of them and then at the last minute, he tells Michelle, oh yeah, by the way, there's 30 more over there. Yeah. I guess he knew because everything is well recorded and I think, I think he really took his time to actually do every song correctly right. with all the solos and all the right. you know, fancy stuff around it. He warned me about the fact that the sound of the guitar could be thin uh, if, it, if not reamped. And uh, Glenn knew exactly what Piggy meant. What have you done with the guitar track so far? We're taking the uh, stuff that Piggy did in Pro Tools and then taking it out of Pro Tools and going into this box and it reamplifies it through this amplifier and then we mic it up. The guitar was um, put on top of uh, demo drums that were all over the place. It's really not well played at all, it's half improvised. So I have to be tight on top of guitar parts that are, that are waving a bit. It took uh, quite a few takes before I, um, I got used to it. Then I started to envision uh, Piggy's presence through the sound of uh, his guitar, and then I got used to it. But after a couple of days, I was able to put some artifacts in the room. I put the old 80s backdrop behind the drums, and eventually uh, we, we can really feel that he's uh, watching over the session. was for Piggy to be proud of, you know, like somewhere uh, is looking down and I'm, we're hoping he'll be proud of the result. I think, I think we pretty much achieved that. It's, it's yeah. kicking. Hey! Who wants to live? Oh, no,